If you have a mahjong set at home and you like to play Hong Kong style, you can play solitaire. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do it. I think it's a really great way to practice decision making during a game of mahjong for Hong Kong style. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist and in that playlist there's a link to a player reference that I use for scoring. It's a lot of fun and it really keeps your mind active. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's play some solitaire. All my tiles are out and I've built them into walls to the left of these platforms. And these are going to hold the tiles so you can see everything. I'm going to use this marker to identify whose turn it is because sometimes I get mixed up. We're going to say that it's the east round and I'm going to take 13 tiles for the dealer east. This will be south, west, and north. Actually, east gets 14 tiles. Did I say 13? East gets 14. Then the other three get 13 because east discards to start the game. So here we go. Okay, everybody has all the tiles they need, so we can take a look at each one of these and kind of get a direction for where we're going. It's always good to block it out, and I'll show you what that means, but you want to always stay flexible during picking and discarding and watch what people are discarding and exposing and then make decisions accordingly. Only the player who wins gets the points. Let's see what we can do for East. No flowers. For East, they do have chow potential and a pair. Just two chows though, not looking too good. They have more dots than they do cracks by one tile and single honors. I think I'll start by discarding the BAMs and see what happens. Okay, so let's look at South. Okay, so they have mostly cracks, but they do have some terminals. One, two, three, four, five. With their honors, they have seven tiles. So I think I would just wait and see. They do have chow potential though. One potential chow, two, three, four, and a pair. So really, they've got good chow potential in mixed suits. Let's say there's a two point minimum or two fawn minimum, which is like a point. So right now they have no flowers and they would have an all chow hand, which is two fawn. So I think we could go ahead and maybe plan that out. If they pair up terminals though, I might be tempted to switch to a terminal and honor hand. Terminals are ones and nines. All right, let's see what we can do for West. They have two pair, pair here, pair here, but they also have chow potential right here. There's a chow right there. They've got to have a pair. Maybe we could use this as a pair and this as a chow. One, two, three, four blocks. We need to sacrifice these honors and go for all chows maybe. They have no flowers, so that might be a good point for them for now. Okay, let's look and see what we can do for north. There's a flower and it's their flower, four flower. The east is one, south is two, west is three, and north is four, and they got their own flower. So that's a point. And actually nobody has any other flowers, so they each have a point two because they have no flowers. Let's take a replacement tile. 
it's east round and they have a pair of east. If they can pung that, they'll get a point for that. Okay, so we'll see. These are isolated. Actually, so is the two, these three. I think I would try for a half flush with BAMs, but they do have a little child potential right here. But I would, I would start by throwing these right here. They have one fawn already, and if they can pung that east, that'll be two, two fawn. And then they could just do whatever they want just to get to a win. So let's go ahead and discard a one BAM for east. And we'll draw for south because nobody can take a one BAM. Oh, three BAM. We're gonna try for all chow here. Let's discard the east. And we'll draw for west, but e or north can pung the east. And that is the wind of the round. So they get they have two two fawn already. So we skipped west turn. And at this point, let's go ahead and discard the two crack. So we have one set out right now in east. Then we have two potential chows here, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, or a chow and a pung. So that's three. Here's a chow, or potential chow. So they might get to a quick win, even though it's a low score. Let's draw for east. One bam, discard. We can draw for south. Two bam. Let's get rid of the white dragon. And we'll draw for west, north. So this is a potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, or here's a pair. Let's get rid of the north. Let's try to get them to a chow hand. We can draw four north. One crack, we'll discard that. And draw four east. White dragon. Oh, you know, I would keep that. We could pung it and get score. Any pung of dragons is worth a fawn. Let's get rid of this eight crack. They'd have to get rid of all these cracks though. We'll see. Let's draw four south. Six crack. Okay, here's a pair. We can get rid of the one dot maybe. Yeah, that's that really wasn't a helpful pick. So here's a potential chow, potential chow, potential chow. We've got some potential here, but they're really not the right tiles. Let's get rid of the one dot. So let's see, that's south. One dot. Okay, now up here. You'd think, well, why not make a three of a kind? If you mix chows and suits with pungs, you're gonna have very little score. Unless, of course, you have pungs of dragons or your own seat wind, and they only have singles. So I would not act on that one dot for this player. We're gonna draw. Two bam. So that wasn't helpful. We already have a chow right there. Let's throw the two bam. And we can draw for this player here, north. Now there is a pung potential here, and they do have two other pair. If they had another pair, I would maybe play Toy Toy, which is all three of a kind, all pungs. But I think they're closer to chows. Let's draw for north, north, and there's already one out. Let's discard it. Well, we can keep it and discard the west. And then let's draw for east. One bam, huh? They discarded all three of those. Let's, now here we could chow. Let's chow it, one, two, three. One, two, three. I might have been able to do that before and didn't think about it. So we have a pair. This can be a chow. 
Let's get rid of the six crack. Because they have one, two, three, four, five blocks. We just need to chow. Let's draw four west. Two bam again, discard. And let's draw for north. West, I just gave up that west. Let's draw for east. North, that has already, let's see, that has not been discarded yet. And we're in between a half flesh and cracks. Let's keep the north and discard the three crack and go for a half flesh with dots. So three crack was discarded. Nobody can take it. Let's draw four south. Five dot is a discard. And we'll draw four west. Five crack. That's a pair now here. They have one, two, three pair. Maybe we could switch them to all pung. Oh. Let's get rid of the two dot. No, let's keep the dots. Let's see if we can get them to toy toy. All, or toy toy, toy toy is a Japanese mahjong term. Sorry about that. This would be all pung. So let's, let's go ahead and discard the five, or the three crack. Three crack. And nobody can take a three crack, so we're gonna draw four north. We're, they already have a pung of east out, and we're trying to maybe get them to all chow. Or no, no, no. Just a win, because they already have two points. Let's discard seven crack. And then we'll draw four east. Nine crack. Okay. Here's a pair. Pair pair, three pair. Let's discard this four crack and draw four south. Seven dot, we'll discard that. And draw four west. Flower, four flower. So they just lost the no flower point. That's kind of a risky plan. So we'll take a replacement tile Three crack, we just discarded that. That would have been a good pair. They have two pair in their discard pile now. That's unfortunate. We're gonna draw for north. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Three bam. Okay, that was a good tile. So we have pair, here's a potential chow, potential chow, potential chow. These are isolated. There's one north out. Let's discard the north. And draw for east. One crack, one crack. Let's, let's keep the one crack. Because now look at all these honors. Although we have a pair here. Let's discard the six crack. And then we can draw for player south. East, well, there's already a pung out, so this is a safe discard. We'll draw for west. One dot, okay. There's a pung now, or a pair, and then now we could use this as a chow. But now they have two, two pair and a pung. Let's see if we can get them to all pung. So what's out? We have an eight bam. There are no two dots out. No five, five cracks are out. None of these are out. There's no south, green, or red. Let's throw the two dot for west and we can draw for north seven bam okay so we could pung those maybe let's get rid of the two dot 
and draw four east. Now east could chow that, but that would leave an isolated tile. Uh, really, these are isolated too. I think I'd rather pass that up and wait for a chow here and a pung here. I think I'd rather draw. That was a good choice. Okay, let's go ahead and give up the one crack. And we can draw for south. Five dot, that's a discard. Five dot, nobody can take a five dot. So we're gonna draw for west. We wanna get, we wanna try to pair up another, in another, with another tile. Let's discard the nine bam. And we can draw for this player here. Now we could chow that. Let's chow it. Chow, seven, eight, nine. They have a chow here, potential chow here. Let's throw the nine dot. If we can get another bam, we could clear them to a half flush and get rid of these. So nine dot was discarded. This player, this is their pair. So we don't want to pung that. That will ruin their hand. We're trying to get them to a ha uh, all chow, all three in a sequence. So try not to be tempted by a pair and making it a pung. It could wreck your hand. So let's draw for east. Seven bam, that would be a discard. We're gonna draw for south. Six bam, they have a pair already. They're ready to chow, 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 chow. The challenge here is we have an edge weight, a closed weight, closed weight. These are all closed weights, meaning they need the middle tile. There's not a lot of flexibility there at all. Okay, let's draw for west. Four crack, we need pairs. Let's, let's, um, let's see. There's one seven bam out, one six bam out. Let's go ahead and discard the seven bam. We need to give ourselves some options and I don't think, oh, there's one four crack out. That might be just as good of a discard, really. Okay, let's draw for north. Okay, they got a three flower. Eight dot. So they have two fawn already. Even though this would drive their sco score down, we can go ahead and discard the three or the four and be ready to win. Let's go ahead and do that. Any win is a good win. Let's discard the three bam. Three bam, and nobody can take it. Can't take a chow from the player across from you. So we're going to draw for east. Three dot. That's a good tile. Let's let's go ahead and let's see. We have a pung, a pung. Here's a pung. This could be a pung. Let's get rid of um, the. Uh, let's see here. What's out? There's a nine dot out. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's go ahead and discard the four dot, and let's mix the pungs. It's okay to mix pungs. It's still a three fawn hand and we would get a fawn for this white dragon too. If we cleared to one suit with honors that would be three fawn in and of itself. Then three fawn for all pung that'd be six and seven. So it would be a higher scoring hand. If we pair up this nine dot I would sacrifice this off suit. Let's draw four south. Four dot. We'll discard that. And we're going to draw four west. One flower. Eight crack. Okay, we need to get rid of maybe the six bam. It's already been thrown. Let's draw four north. Red dragon, we'll discard that. They're ready to win on a four bam. Let's draw four east. Five dot. Here's a pung, potential chow. I think they're better off with pungs. Let's discard the five dot. 
and draw for south. They got a south, but we're going to discard that and draw for west. Five crack. That's a pung tile. Right there is a pung. Okay, so we need, we have a pung, pung. Here's a pair. A south was just thrown. Let's go ahead and discard that. And we'll draw four north. Eight crack, discard. And we're going to draw four east. One crack, discard. We'll draw four south. Four dot, discard. Drawing four west. Green dragon. Oh, that's a good pair right there. They can get good score for that. Let's get rid of the eight crack. It was thrown recently. Let's draw four north flower. Eight bam. If we kept that for the pair, we could be ready on either a five or another eight. There's one eight, there are two eights out right now. So I think, um, <clears throat> I think we were better off with a four bam because the eights are dead. So we'd be waiting on a five bam. There are no five bams out and there are no four bams out either. Let's throw this eight bam and draw for player east. Three bam, that is a discard. Three bam up here, we can chow. One, two, three. So south is gonna chow. And now they can discard. So they have two chows, three, four, and a pair. So all these are middle weights. So we just need to pick the best one. Let's see, none of the tiles in the middle here, three, uh, I mean a five bam, two crack, and seven crack. None of them are out. Let's get rid of the one crack. So we can throw this one next. And we'll draw for players west. Two crack. Okay, four crack I believe was discarded. Let's discard that. And I forgot to move the marker. Let's draw for north. Three dot, that's a discard. Three dot for north. Technically, we could Kong it, four of a kind, Kong. Let's just go ahead and do that. We'll Kong it, the three dot, and we'll take a replacement tile, two dot. We needed a pair in there. Okay, you know this south has been thrown a couple times. Let's discard that. And we can draw for south, but I want to show you the discards real quick and the exposures. Let's draw nine crack. Okay, nine crack. We have a three crack. Let's see, we're going for chows here. Either way, we need a seven in here. This three crack can go away. Let's throw that. We're gonna throw a three crack for south. And we can draw for west. Two crack, oh, hey, there's pair. So we can pung. We have one, two, three, four, five. Let's get rid of this red dragon that was thrown and nobody wanted it. We'll get rid of it before someone gets a pair. So we're going to draw four north. Nine bam. Okay, let's see if this situation's any better. Yeah, either way, it really doesn't matter. Four bam is a good tile. There are none out. Let's discard the six bam. Okay, and we can draw four east. Seven dot. Okay, now we have a pung, a potential chow, and a, a potential pung. So if the Kong is one block, we have two, three, four. All we need is a pair in here. Let's get rid of this two dot. There's already two out anyway. So let's go ahead and draw for west. 
Seven crack. Okay, they got their they got a chow. They're playing all chows. Let's discard the nine crack. And then they're ready on a five bam. So we're gonna discard the nine crack right there. And this player here, we could pung that and go for all pung. Since since there are two exposures e exposures each for south and north. Let's go ahead and pung it and escalate their situation here. So see if we can get them to a all pung. Okay, now let's let's discard the nine dot. There's already one out, and there's one out of this too. Up here, that's their pair, so we can draw. Seven crack. We're waiting here on a five bam, and there are none out. Seven crack. Let's draw four west. Four bam. Four bam. The four bam or the five bam can go. They're, they're basically waiting to pung here. So either a four bam or a five bam. Either one, it's going to be a bit of a risk. I mean, we're, we're at the end of the third wall, so I'm going to discard the four bam for west. Four bam. And that would be mahjong for north. There's their pair right there. Okay, so let's bring in their chows or their chow and a pung. So there's their pung of east. And they have three flowers, including their own flower. That's what gives them that other fawn. These two flowers don't count because it's not their seed. This is this player's flower. So we have all, no, no, no. We have wind of the round, a pung of east, and their own flower. That's two fawn and that's the minimum. So it's a pretty low score, but they won and they're the only ones who will get the score. So this player just needed to pung and they needed to get a pair. This player was ready on a five bam and that's what the two choices were. This player was one away from all pung. So it was a pretty close race, I think. Let me know what you think about that solitaire game. I think it was good practice with decision making. Sometimes I, I tend to be a greedy player and like to go for big hands, but really a lot of times if you play with uh, the same people, you can kind of get to know their own style. Some people play to win as quick as they can, even if it's a low score hand. If you play with people who like to play big hands, you might have a little more time. But in this case, that was a low score. So you really kind of have to change your plans based on what the other players at the table are doing. Yeah. Interesting. And it's a lot of fun. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. And click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that will give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.